Hello, everybody. I am Molder Wars, and this is Ashen once again. All of our quests right now are taking us out into the third area, just beyond the Eye of the Needle there. It ain't too far to walk, especially if we don't stop to fight literally everything on the way. Of course, it would be very inconvenient if I were to fall off of a cliff and shatter my entire skeleton on impact. So I will do my best to avoid that. And sometimes you just can't avoid slaughtering your enemies. Sometimes people just need to be killed. That's all there is to know about it. Whether they be people or an corrupt government stripping away people's rights one by one and then they fail to realize that it is now time to rise up and strike back and take their rights back by force. But that's enough about politics. There's this dude and I'm going to chop you up real nice. Yeah, I got a fucking overhead swing on this thing. That's right, Jokel. Distract him by getting your face smashed in. I'm going to slip around behind him and chop his skull open. Don't you dodge me. Come on now. Be gone with ya. Good. The dudes out here in the second area drop a fairly good amount of scoria upon death. That can be very useful when it comes to upgrading my shit. But I don't feel like grinding and then heading back to Vagrant's Rest to make use of it. Now I think this is... Uh... Okay! Not the time to be scavenging corpses, lest I become a corpse myself! That ain't what we do round here. Yep, there, you gun had your guard broken. And you had a large wooden shield. Might that shield be better? It is not better than my kite shield. It is, in fact, worse. That is understandable. That shield is made of wood. And the shield I got now is made of metal. Metal is generally sturdier than wood. Now, how close am I to the... Oh, I am not close at all. I'm still in the second area. So, got some running to do, and some face chopping while I'm at it, and somebody just threw a fucking spear at me, but Jokel already got him. I'm just gonna be alternating pronunciations on his name. Sometimes he's Jokel, sometimes he's Yokel. Tis the way of the world. I believe the way through to the next area is just through this place here. And you are going to be a big pain in me ass, ain't ya? Take that! Ow! Did you just whack me in the kneecap, mister? That is incredibly rude. One does not simply whack me in the kneecap. But that's beside the point. Not even if, not, I couldn't even go making any more points to him. Because he's fucking dead. And now we found Solitude. A nice name for a dark and dreary place. I have been knocked right the fuck out. Well, big man come out of nowhere real good, don't he? You can see on the compass where my shit is. And I'm gonna have to go and get that back. Preferably without dying on the way, because as you know with these Souls-like games, probably, that once you die, you drop your shit, and if you die again before you can retrieve it, it's gone forever. And I had like 4,000 of that Scoria in there. Would be a damn shame to lose it. And that dude's over here trying to lead us into a trap, and it certainly worked. We got led in, but that trap will not succeed in killing us. Ow, did you just hit me over the head? We don't do that around here. Now, there you go, you get hit over the head, and now you gonna get hit over the head. Stop blocking me, stupid. 
And okay, that takes care of all of them. Now let's go get my shit back. Well, there's my shit. It be that glowy spot right there. And there's that big dude that came up and fucking one-shotted me. And got my shit back. And you ain't gonna one-shot me again, mister. Why in the fuck did you dodge in the opposite direction that I, from where I told you to fucking dodge? Alright. Yeah, you go over there and do all your stupid shit. I am going to not get pounded into the ground while I try to revive friend here. Alright. Now he can revive me if I happen to go down. Or if he goes down a second time, he's just straight up dead and I'm on my own. Which means I would have nothing to fall back on. Okay, he is dead. That can prove to be a major problem. Yeah, now I'm fighting you on my own. And, alright, there's my opportunity. I will take no unnecessary risks. Not gonna go in for an attack unless I know for certain I can hit him without being hit myself. Yeah, swing your shit around. Uh, there he is. There's your swing, there's my swing. And, alright, gotcha. Revengeon is mine. And now, I need to be vigilant. Because there may be more big dudes like that dude who just murdered my buddy. And... I think I may have gone the wrong way. This may not, in fact, be the right way. It is... It leads to a... To optional things. I am remembering this now. Because it is the main road that I want to follow. Yay. I got the friend murdered for nothing. Okay, this is probably the way forward. Or maybe it's just a place where assholes like to hang out. That's fine. I can deal with a progress and assholes at the same time. That's right, you come into this place thinking you own it, just setting up camp and shit, and then you get all fucked over when a dude with a fucking axe comes in here and chops your faces off. Okay. Oh, more assholes. Well, look who stopped being dead. Isn't that convenient? You need to stop blocking that. There you go. Fucking hammer straight to the head will take care of any problem. And this place looks familiar. I think I was here already. Yes, yes. So... Okay, okay, I think I see what need what I need to do. I need to go up. I need to not get impaled with a goddamn spear. Climb up the ledge, stupid! There. And you like playing like that? I can play like that too. Well, you certainly went a long way, didn't you? Now, what have we here? Scoria. There's some scoria right there. Ah, uh, why are you sliding down? I don't want you to slide down. But you chose to slidey downy on your own now, didn't ya? And uh, maybe I don't go up there and through that. That archway there with the wind blowing through it. Perhaps there is another way to travel further south. God, I hope there is. Because if the way that I went earlier that I think leads to optional things is actually the right way to go and it's full of people that can one-shot me, then we're going to have problems. Except that's not the way to go because this is. Alright. This is Sindra's View. That is the name of the place and that's a big boy. 
But let's hit this ritual stone. And now we can admire the big boy flying through the air. This game has a good way of making things look nice with such a minimalistic art style. I mean, the people don't even have faces. And yet they can have things out in the distance like that looking all good and shit. I lack the proper words to describe it. Due mostly in part to the fact that I am a goddamn idiot. But we are well on our way to taking care of things and stuff. And things are dropping on my head. I could use a little help here. Thanks for not helping me, idiot. Okay. Let's head back to the stone so I can get my health back. And that probably also respawned the thing that just jumped down on top of me. That's usually how these things work. I know you're in here, you spidery bastard. And now we've got one of these assholes. Yo, Kel, you go first. I said move it. I can't even push the damn guy. Okay, maybe it didn't respawn. It's supposed to. This game's not even following its own damn rules anymore. And I can't have a moment's peace to look at the fucking map because fucking Einar are everywhere. That's fantastic. And I fucking missed. I really wish trying to sprint wouldn't automatically unlock the goddamn target. The reason I sprint is because I want to close the distance between myself and my enemy faster so I can get in there and land a solid hit. That is why I do the things that I do and you're over here chucking your stupid things. Those are some pointy looking spears even pointier than the ones that I have seen so far and asshole alert need to not do what I'm doing there you get chopped you put that club down mister all right and booyah and more spear guys ow he got the pokey bits that he can poke me with I don't like getting poked! And now you got your dogs. That's great. There, you're dead. Dogs is about to dead. There, the dogs have dead it did it And I can go back to looting corpses the way I wanted to. And maybe take a look at the map. Yeah, we are right here between the two objectives for Isla's quest. And I believe at the end of this area we're going to fight a boss that will unlock the fast travel for us. If I'm remembering this correctly, which I might just be doing. But at the same time, I might not be doing just that because I do have a habit of being a fucking idiot. And that is probably one of those corpses that Vorsa wanted me to hunt. She did mention how they dig into the ash and usually how they spit bile into the ground beforehand. And there's a spider here. I really wish you would mind your own damn spidery business. But no, you gotta interfere. Hey, we got that corp bile. And apparently it squirts a little bit of that bile on the ground when it dies, and it hurts to touch it. It likes to dissolve things with its bile, and I see spider. Huh. Maybe that acidic stuff came out of the spider. But it also looks like it may have come out of that corb. Ah, great, Jokel. You did great. Just fine. Falling down on the job like that. Stop being dead. Now let's see. Ah, yes. We got an asshole in here. That's great. The kind of asshole that I like chopping up. Because he's got a spear. And spears are dumb. 
Don't you go dying on me, fool. You better start drinking your juice, cause you're down to just one hit. And we are close. We are within the search area for that objective. Except I probably don't want to be inside this building for that. Eh. What is this? What you got, Mr. Spearhead, of course. A lot of the corpses you find, like a disproportionately large amount of them, only have spearheads. It's kind of disappointing. You're hoping for something that isn't a spearhead, and then you get stuck with a spearhead, and now I'm stuck on my own because my foolish companion used up all of his juice before coming in here. Uh-oh. You and your fucking bile spit, but at least that friendly fire is working in my favor. Ow. Your goop. The goop is hurty. And are you that bastard who was over here throwing them spears at me? Well, you better start praying to whatever god will listen, because you about to die horribly. Don't you spear me. Why don't you come this way and step in the fire? What are you throwing your spear at? Uh, okay. That might be a problem. A problem that I'm gonna have to deal with once the... Okay, yeah, you are coming after me now. And you killed Spearman. That, I think... Okay, no, that wasn't your grab attack. You now need to... Are you about to explode? That does look fairly explody. Okay, I think that was the rushing grab that these things often do. And it murdered me. Great! I've been moitered, deaded, killed, and eaten. Best way to go, honestly. And I do need to go get my shit back, as per usual. And that was 7,000 this time. I've lost a whole lot more. Hopefully I can retrieve it. In the next episode, because I'm all out of time for this one, so thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching me. See you in the next one. Bye!